Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineering Drawing Tutorial Course Code U18 ME104. I am B Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Kids Warangal. In this video lecture, I am going to explain one problem in projections of straight lines too. I have taken this problem from Engineering Drawing by N.D. Bird Textbook, Exercise 10B, Projections of Straight Lines 2. The pay number is 237. Coming to the problem number 4, a line AB 75 mm long is in the second coordinate with the end A in the HP and the end B in the BP. The line is inclined at 30 degrees to the HP and at 45 degrees to the BP. Draw the projections of the AB and determine its traces. He has given that the line name is AB. Its true length is 75 mm. True length equals 75 mm and he has given one condition that the end A in the HP and end B in the VP. And he has given one more condition is the line is inclined at 30 degrees to the HP and 45 degrees to the VP. That means theta equal 30 degrees and pi equal to 45 degrees. Here the important condition is the line in the second coordinate. That means the line is uh, the line is above HP and behind the VP. For that condition, we have to construct the final front view and final top view. First, uh, the line is second coordinate means we can get both front view and top view above the xy line. First, draw the xy line and locate a part on the xy because the end a in the hp. That means we can get front view point a dash locate one point on the xy that is a dash and the line is 30 degrees to the hp from a dash point draw the 30 degrees line this is the initial front view and this end point name is b1 dash this is the initial front view that means true length now draw the locus line on that locus line we can get a final front view point that means this is the locus of b dash and b1 dash on the locus of b1 dash we can get final front view point uh, from initial front view we can get length of top view draw the vertical projector up to locus of a dash we can get the point name is b1 this a dash b1 is called as length of top view. I think up to this uh, is, this is clear to everyone. The second condition is the line makes 45 degrees to the VP. Uh, this is second coordinate. So both front view uh, and top view both are overlap in second coordinate. For avoiding this confusion, I am taking uh, uh, that uh, inclusion 45 degrees to VP to the other side that is I am taking I am locating one point uh, on this xy that is away to this a dash point locate this point this is the starting point b2 it makes 45 degrees to the VP from b2 point <coughs> draw the 45 degrees line you can draw uh, this side or uh, to the left side or uh, right side that is your wish i have drawn towards left side this is a b2 point this end point name is a2 this is the line makes 45 degrees to the vp now draw the locus line at a2 
This is the initial top view that means true length. Draw the locus line A to A2. Uh, on that locus of A2, we can get final top view point. So, this is the locus of A and A2. From initial top view, we can get length of front view. As per template, we initial top view, we can get length of front view. Draw the vertical projector from A2 to the locus of B2, we can get this point name is A2 dash. A2 dash B2 is the length of front view. <coughs> now take your engineering compass, measure A2 dash B2 length and A dash at the center, draw the arc on locus of B1 dash. We can get point B dash. This is the final front view. Now join A dash B dash. We can get final front view for the given problem. Now draw the projector from B dash to locus of A dash. This point name is B. This is the final front view point. Now take your engineering compass, measure A dash B1 length and B as center. Draw the arc on locus of A2. Otherwise, you can directly draw the vertical projector from A dash. We can get final top view point. B as center. Draw the arc on locus of A2. We can get the point is final front view point is A. Now join AB. AB gives final top view. Now draw the now join A, A dash. We know that you can take any point that is top view or front view or front view or top view. Both are the same vertical projector. For example, point A, front view, top view point, front view point. Both are in same vertical projector. Let us take one more point B dash B. Both are in same vertical projector. This is the final solution for the given problem number 4. He also asked that determine its traces. We know that uh, how to draw the traces for uh, any problem. Just you can extend final front view. Where this line meets on XY, it gives V point. And also draw the vertical, vertical line this line intersect where the final top view it gives horizontal trace similarly like extend final top view to x y line where it meets we can get the point name is v and from that point draw the vertical line it it intersect final front view that point name is vertical trace this is the final solution for the given problem number 4 in Engineering drawing by Endeavor textbook exercise 10b. I hope this problem is very clear to your one. Here the one important point is uh, finally you can draw the thick lines for only for this final front view that means a dash b dash b dash and uh, final top view that is a b. These two lines are thick. Remaining R lines should be thin lines. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates.